that's not exactly how I planned to um, um, start this second discussion on the Groat um, jazz guitar. Excuse the tuning device, I will remove it. Um, the reason I have that on, because the last one that I did, I said it may go out of tune. And um, as soon as I started playing, it was already out of tune. But that's not the fault of the guitar. It was brand new in the box. I'd literally um, tuned it up and just was pretty excited about it. Um, and this, again, is a discussion. And there's going to be lots of wordage. And if you're interested in that, th this kind of infotainment, there'll be lots of discussions because... I'd like to share with you what I love about this guitar and the concept of this guitar, where it came from, possibly why some people may not like them, um, and why I particularly love it. Um, I mean... <laughs> stand and this is how I, I love this I came back today and this guitar it would just happen to be facing the doorway as I opened it I hope the straps come off um, it really does look like something from the 1930s and I know it's an epiphone century kind of rip off if that's what you want to call it or whether you know these guitars aren't made anymore and a lot of people can't afford the Gibsons and the Epiphones why not make something that's affordable and there are a few flaws here and there that I, I hadn't noticed but I think it's a flaw in the actual paintwork where it looks like there's a divot there well I used to work on vintage cars bodywork and I can't actually feel divot so it's something in the paint but that doesn't bother me and back in the 1930s when the concepts of these guitars were first coming about I guess through players like Charlie Christian um, who was you know um, was one of the first guys to actually amplify a guitar put a pickup on it and become a lead player in an orchestra or an, and you know there were so many others that followed suit Charlie Christian I can't play like Charlie Christian nobody can only you know there's lots of imitators but that's another story but when I looked at this guitar last night and I was talking to a friend of mine about it I said it, it's the kind of thing that you would see in one of those 1930s 40s sitting rooms next to a radiogram um, just everything about it, the you know, and why not? And why why knock creative minds? You know, whether they be Chinese creative minds for coming up with a concept like this, so you and I could own something that is gonna sound. Because I've mentioned this before, the concept of the guitar doesn't know whether it's an Epiphone or a Gibson. It's an instrument and it has dimensions, depth, it has a pickup placed in a certain place and if love has been put into that design, the same sounds will come out of it. Better sounds can come out of it with more expensive woods, but when these guitars were conceived, it was post post-war there'd been a huge depression 
and there was a boom time. So to make a financial boom, they had to make things on a budget. And quite often, some of the, the old Gibsons, I had a really old Rossetti guitar with a scratch plate with a kind of a P90 on it, which I later learned. It was my, one of my first guitars. I bought it really cheaply. I was told later it was a prototype of a Les Paul and was worth um, a great deal of money and I sold it for next to nothing because it, you know, and I'm, what I'm, I, I digress. It, it was full of flaws and lots of Gretches I've owned from the 1960s, the, you know, and uh, late 50s as well, the golden era of, of these guitars were full of flaws, terrible frets, um, dead pickups. Um, some of them were really good, some of them were really poor. But what these guys are doing, and this guitar is, you know, um, I have no idea who makes the pickup. It could be a Vanson, and I love Vanson pickups. Um, it's set very low, and I've not altered the sound of my amps since my last um, Starcaster was the last one I did. So, um, yeah, I can't tell you how great this guitar is, and uh, I'm used to you know having a big B like I mentioned in a, in my other video, and I kind of what I'm learning to do now is to just move my hand out the way at the end of a chord or something just so to get out the habit of reaching for the, the Bigsby. I may put one on, probably not. What I am going to do, I think I'm going to change the nut. Um, does it need change it, but it's something I may well do. I am going to change the tuning pegs. They work okay. One of them's a bit gnarly, but it's more for aesthetics. And if you're a a guitar modder and a guitar lover so there are some things that are just painful to the eye and I, I don't and I can understand why they they've used these but I, I've found a set of Epiphone Les Paul lookalikes um, at a really good price that are like Clusons at the back it could be a mistake but these will go on another guitar at some point so um, I hope you can hear me. I hope the sound translated. I'm using another mic device tonight to try and improve because a lot of people can't hear what I'm saying. But um, the great jazz guitar in a sumptuous cherry red and it's quite a beautiful instrument. Aesthetically, again, this doesn't look right to me, but it's all personal taste. I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Be subscribed because it helps my channel. Give it a like and comment. Um, I'm going to be doing lots more on this guitar. Um, and again, excuse the shoddy playing. Take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.